the issue of marriage, you will marry this year. Eh? So don't worry about the business issue. <laughs> you hear me? Yes, I'm You must not worry about the business issue. It will work, but the marriage issue is important. Thank you, man For of you God. to break this case of your family. Thank you, man of God. Yeah, you're free. I open a website. Come on. I open a website. Come on. Ouch. Come on. Ouch. Leave her, you demon. I'm sure she's my visitor. She's coming today. Even, even. I'm sure it's karate this one. We have seen because it's like he's playing kata. Kata one. Let me see kata one. Kata two. Kata two. Kata two. Kata three. Leave him. Leave him. You are disturbing him. So you can see this one is a, it's a karate. Can you see that? Cut one. Cut one. Go away. Go. You are disturbing him. You can see that. Cut two. Two. Cut three. Yeah, I'm sure. What are you I'm doing? sure it's cool. What are you doing? Release everything. Release. So, in Jesus' name, all knees shall bow, including this one. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' name. You are delivered in Jesus' name. Release him. You are free. Release. You are going to release. Then you are leaving here. Don't tell me. I told you to go to you didn't go there. Come on. Pastor, I was working on Sunday you on day shift. Eh? I was working on Sunday on day shift. Yeah, I see you didn't go there. We didn't go, yes. So I can see you didn't go. Yes, it's true, Pastor. And uh, because you didn't do, they attack you. It's true, Pastor. They, they attack you. You were asleep. They send a spirit there. It's true. And uh, this spirit now is the one that is trying to disturb us here. But today you are going to be free. Amen. You understand? You were working. Yes. There's a spirit behind you. Because they always send a man to sleep with you. There. But that spirit just press you down. It's true. I always get tired. Eh? I always get tired, even in work. Yeah, God loves you. Eh? Amen. You can run coming to me. Stop there. I know you are free. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Zamil Lovu. I'm from KZN. Actually, I'm staying here in Pretoria, Ferrickland. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? Today. Oh, Baba yes. told me that I didn't go to church actually on Sunday where we were supposed to go at Atrashville. Yes, I, we did. He found out that we didn't go there and he told that he told me there is a spirit that is following me and causing more problem in my life is true because even in my dreams i i used to dream things that they are negative i always get disappointed in my life every time i always be disappointed but i do believe as he deliver me today everything is going to be settled and fine and for how long has this been happening since 2016 
and how has it affecting your life uh, since you've been coming along disappointments? Sorry? How has it affecting you? You know, I, like, I, I always be displeased and discouraged, but I, do, I keep on praying. I trust God that one day will help me, but things, they are going slowly. Until the, since I finished school, I never find job. I went for training. I trained as a EMRS. I lost my certificate. Nobody supported me to pay that uh, fees for that certificate. Then I tried to find a job. I didn't find a job. After that, I work uh, with pastors, two different pastors. I started to work with them as a discipleship. And now that they've prayed for you, uh, how, how are you feeling? For really, I, I can say that I'm feeling fine, but I've got fear. I don't know why. Any words of encouragement? Sorry? Words of encouragement to the viewers? Oh, I can encourage the, the, the viewers that they, they should come and trust God. Whatever you are passing through in life, you must trust God that one day he will answer you, one day he will deliver you, whatever spirit that is following your life, whatever challenges that you are passing through. As I rely on God and depend on him, I trust him. As he has started with my deliverance, soon I will testify. As, I, as, as Papa also, God used him to open job for me. Since I came here last year, December, November actually, I received job on December time when I was very discouraged and I was thinking of going back home, home KZN, but I came here and then the man of God just gave us the prayer point. I, I do pray when I reach at home. It was on Tuesday, they called me for interview. So now I'm working. There's a dream you always dream that is troubling you. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yes, Daddy. And once you dream that dream, you wake up with anger. Yes, Daddy. Uh, because you see a tall man coming there in the house. Yes, Daddy. Uh, so this is a very bad dream for you. From there, you, you lose interest. Uh? Yes, Daddy. You begin to lose interest to, to meet your, your husband. Yes, Daddy. You're free. Where you come from? I'm Christina. I come from Tembisa. And can you tell us the prophecy you received from the man of God and the confirmation? Yeah, it's true. I always see a man that is always coming in my room. And then he, he always come and press me down and tell me that there's nothing that you can do. Because in this house, you are the only one who called the name Jesus. So when I wake up, I will be angry because he always come and defeat me when I'm sleeping. So it's true what he told me that I will come uh, when I wake up I will be angry. Yes. And and for how long have you been experiencing this? Uh, since the last year I've been experiencing that, and then since I got married, he always come in my dream and try to press me down, or sometimes come and sleep with me. But uh, sometimes I always see that he's saying, ah, uh, when you are dreaming this, you must know you are doing it for real, and then I will wake up. And how was this affecting you and also in your marriage? No, it's what affecting me because sometimes I, I lose interest with my husband because I will be so angry with this man that I saw all the time coming on my dream. Yeah. And today you got your deliverance. How are you feeling? I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I know that I am delivered and I know that this man will never come back again because before I got married, uh, I used to see a spiritual husband always coming to me and then he prayed for me, he said, this man will never touch you again. But the very same night, it came back, and then it was standing there. It couldn't know what to do, and then he stood there for a long time that I was even awake, that I can hear that there's somebody was standing next to my bed. But then when I started to listen, why, what is this person standing there? I heard somebody crying under my bed, and then I was like, who's crying under my bed, and then I was afraid. Then I woke up, and then I tried to look in, in, under the bed, and there was no one, but I was hearing the cry. From that time, it never came back again. Yes. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? Uh, I will encourage those people who are watching Charis TV that everything that you dream of, always there is telling us that you must wake up and pray about it. Yeah. You need to support each other. Are you hearing me? Amen. In prayer. 
Amen. Amen. Because you are lacking prayer. Amen. Huh? Amen. Your wife is lacking prayer. Otherwise, they will attack you, these people. That's why you always feel pains here. It is true. Huh? It is true. Yeah. You always feel pains here. You are free. Can you tell us your name and where you come from and also introduce the person next to you? My name is Ronald Sonyeho from Botswana. The person who is next to me is my wife. Today you received a word of prophecy. Can you tell us the prophecy that you received and the confirmation? Uh, the man of God prophesied concerning us uh, talking about prayer to my wife, especially to my wife, and it was true. And he even to, uh, talk, he even talked about the pain that is always uh, coming to my wife. It was true. Mama, can you tell us what was happening to you while the man of God mentioned the issue of prayer and also the pains that you were experiencing? Can you explain to us in details? Uh, the prophecy that the man of God said to me is true. That I, that now I lack prayer. It is very true. And also, he mentioned about the pains that always attack me on my side. It's, it is very true. It is very true nowadays I no longer pray because I'm, di I'm, I'm discouraged. Things are not going in my way, so it has affected my prayer life. And sometimes I feel pains, but not always. They sometimes come and attack me on my side. Then I will tell my husband, please pray for me because it will be a sharp pain. Then you will beat me or you will pray for me. After that, the pain will go immediately. I always complain. It's something that comes, not always. It will come for some time. Maybe after a long time, it will, it will also appear or I will feel it on my other side. And now that uh, they have prayed for you, how are you feeling? Right now, I'm okay. I feel very, very, very happy. I'm very happy that today it was my day. The Spirit of God used the man of God to locate my case and locate us. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? Uh, the only thing that I can say is that this place is the arena of liberty. If you come into this place, you'll find a help. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. You must pray for your wife. Eh? Your wife is losing trust in the calling issue. We must pray for your wife. Yes. She's losing trust now. Yes. On the issue of calling. Yes. Yeah, let's pray for her. As I pray for you, I know God is going to lift her spirit. Thank you. The dream about dead people is cancelled now. Amen, amen. She I, told you. I even dream. She dreamed that she's dead. Huh? She dreamed that she's dead. She dreamed that she's dead. Yeah. It's cancelled now. You can see, to show that it's spiritual. She dreamed herself dead. Yes, even me, I dream that. Huh? Even me, I dreamed that I was going to the pit down, down. But because they want she to kill someone. Today. That yeah. dream is cancer. Amen. Your name and where you come from, and also introduce the person next to you. My name is Prophetess Martha Piri. The man beside me is my husband, Apostle Emmanuel Piri. Can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? I received the prophecy from the man of God, Apostle Makananisa. He said the dream of the dream of dreaming dead people are cancelled. And I confirm to be hundred percent. It was last night today uh, last night when I dream that people from my village they carry the coffin and in that coffin they are talking that it was me, I was inside there and I was hiding and I laugh. I said why are you saying that I'm dead while I'm hiding? You don't see me? You are carrying the carton of, of, of Krimola. And then it's like they went again 
they bring another one, they open the face. And it was not me. And I confirm to be 100% and I believe that I am free, I am delivered. I will not die in Jesus' name. Amen. And Papa, how do you feel that uh, the man of God located the problem of your wife? Yeah, it was last night when she was attacked, she was sick at the neck. When our apostle he was prophesying, saying that I want to cancel the spirit of death, I confirm 100% true because it was last, last, last night. I didn't speak to anyone here, but a man of God just came direct to her and speak. Uh, I believe that we are free and my ministry also is free. We thank God for that. Words of encouragement to the viewers? I want to encourage viewers all over the world that if you have challenge, you have problem, go, come closer to Jesus and come to Charis, you receive your deliverance. This is a place where you can receive your salvation, your healing and your deliverance and your breakthrough. In Jesus' name, amen. God loves you. You are so much lonely. So, too much, so much lonely that you always pray, God, give me a right man. It's true in it. Eh? It's true in it. Oh, go, go, give me a right man. This man must fear God. Amen. Yes. Sometimes it's like there's this mind that comes to you and makes you to see like maybe this one was supposed to be. Yeah. Yes. Eh? Yes. It's true, Daddy. And even this yesterday, it was happening to you. Yes. Eh? Yes, Daddy. And but it doesn't work for you. Okay. It's going to work for you today. Amen. It's a spirit of confusion. It's living you now. It's living, come on! The spirit of confusion. So when I pray for you. Name and tell us where you come from and also confirm the prophecy that you received today from the man of God. Okay, my name is Tabu and my name is Masuini. Uh, the prophecy that I have received from man of God, Daddy, he was told me about being lonely. And that was true. I was always in my prayer, God, please let me meet the man who do really fear God, but though I w there was nobody who's coming to me. And then as he said, there was someone who's always coming to me and I think is he the one. So there was some other guy who was always coming to me. So I was just have hope that he's the one, but the things for us do go slow in such a way that I do really feel lonely. That's why Daddy today came to me and said, I see you too lonely. That's true. How are you feeling right now after receiving the prophecy? Oh, for now, like, I'm overwhelmed. I'm really happy. I'm really excited. And I think that uh, everything indeed is doable for now. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to other ladies out there who have lost hope? Uh, in God, you, in God, all things are possible. So what is not doable to you, just come to Charis and come and realize that there is a power here and there is a God who's working. And as he done it to me, even in you, he will do it as he did to me. I thank God for that. I'm really happy. Thank you. Thank you so much. There's a demon of your family, a sensuous spirit. Is the one that is bringing limitation. Come on, you demon. Come on. What I do to him? Put a mic in his mouth there. Oh. What I do to him? Why are you blocking him? Huh? Why are you blocking him? Speak out. Why are you blocking this man? He's going to be a great. Huh? He's going to be great. He's going to be great. Yes. So you know that in his family is the first person to be a great pastor. Yes. Yeah? yes. So you are blocking him. Yes. So how did you stop him? Why you didn't stop him when he comes here? Huh? Why you didn't stop him? Speak out. Why you fail to stop him? I can't hear you. Can you leave him? Can you leave him it's like you are sharing the same demo? Why? Why did you? Why you fail to stop him? You know he's going to be great, eh? Yes. Eh? Yes. So what is it that you are stopping, number one? His, his finance. His finance. Yes. Two? His ministry. His ministry. Yes. You are stopping those things? Yes. So you are a demon? Yes. Eh? From where? Jamaica. 
You're from Jamaica. <laughs> so, demon from the family, Jamaica. <laughs> Leave him. In Jesus' name. Demon from Jamaica. Ouch! Rise up, you are free there. Rise up. Brother, do you know what is happening with you now? Sorry? You know what was happening? No. Eh? So, no. did you ever manifest a demon before? No. So, that demon has left you. Amen. Say, can you kind of introduce yourself to us and also confirm the prophecy that you received from the man of God today? I'm Pastor Neville Archibald from the UK. Mm -hmm. The prophecy I had today was a um, limitation mm -hmm. in my life, in my finances. Is it true? Yes, it is true. I confirm it to be true. What was really happening? Well, I, 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 um, I'm in the building um, construction um, industry and I earn good money, but the, the money seems to go. And today the man of God spoke to you. How are you feeling? Yes, I'm feeling much better now. Mm -hmm. Thank God. What are the words of encouragement that you can give the viewers out there? Well, I invite any pastors, any people in business who are, who are struggling to come here and seek your deliverance. Lift him up. Rise up. Rise up. Where is your wife, sir? Yeah, the wife. Come, stand together. This womb, they tie it here. That's true. They tie the womb and you are crying. That's true. Huh? That's true. We, we got married and we are now we have been trying for a child. Okay, yeah. We got married, uh, but we don't have a child. You don't have a child. No. They tie the womb here. She will have a baby. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also introduce the gentleman next to you. Hi, my name is Lerato Chauke. I'm, we are from, from Rodeport. This is my husband, Masaitla Chauke. Can you please confirm the prophecy that you received today? Um, the prophet said that um, my, I've been tied. We've been trying to have a baby now for a few years, and we've just not been successful. And today the man of God located you. How are you feeling? Uh, it's quite a relief. When I came here, I was actually feeling pain. After it prayed for us, it's, I'm feeling a whole, lot, a whole lot better. What can you say to other women out there? That you should keep on praying and believe that you will receive your miracle one day. Amen. Amen. Say, can you please come this way? Say, can you please confirm the prophecy that you received today from the man of God? Yes, uh, the prophecy is true. Uh, the prophet said uh, my wife has been tied around the waist. Uh, and it's true because we have been trying to try for a baby. And then always uh, when, when we, th we think she's positive, she's... Uh, is conceived uh, only to find the test is negative so I'm happy that uh, the Lord and God and Jesus has located us today and I would like to confirm that the prophecy was true Amen. Great. Amen. and what can you say to other people out there uh, what I can say is that uh, they should visit the man of God they should visit the man of God. There's a true spirit of God living in this church. We thank you and stay blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Where is your husband? Is it him? Eh? Yes. How long you are married? Five years. Eh? Five years. Satan is fighting this woman. You understand? Yes. So that you must live her. Yes. The, the main issue is to make you to leave this woman. And this woman, she has got business minded. Amen. Eh? Amen. And I want to pray for her. There's a pain that you always feel in your leg. Yes. Eh? Because it's like you are short, the yeah. way I'm hearing it. Eh? Yes. Because I feel my leg on the side here. It's like I can't put my leg straight here. Yes, yeah, sometimes eh? it goes all up. Like it goes up now. Yes. But I'm feeling it like your leg becomes numb. Yes. Eh? Yes. Even now, I'm feeling it. Ah! 
put a mic in her mouth. Uh, they want to cripple this woman or separate. Uh, go. What are you doing? Huh? I can't hear you. I feel it's a very strange thing. We are bad. I'm feeling it. We are bad. Huh? We are bad. You say what? We are papa. We are papa. Yeah. We papa can jar. Can't you just demon? We are person doing. We are. Huh? We are person doing. We put to a kanya. We put to a kanya. We are kanya. I can't go no gum tola. You speak Zulu. Uh, her sister is losing yeah, her mind. It's, think... So it's the same people. <laughs> her sister is running mad herself. I cannot get her. So why this leg now? Let's talk about it. Why here now? Huh? 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 Uh, it also hit the hand, yes. Today you are living uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. Live it. She's free. Amen. Let's lift her up. How do you feel in your leg now? It's fine. It's fine now. Yes. Can you walk? Let me see how you. How do you feel? Huh? I'm healed. You are healed now? Yes. Okay. So it's over. The issue of the business, you will make it. Awesome. Say, so can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also confirm the prophecy that you received today from the man of God? I'm Tsepo Maila from Seconda in Mbalentle, mm -hmm. and we came here to see the man of God for prayer, and I confirmed the prophecy because my wife, has an issue or pains in her legs. I think it's for a week now. So what the man, the man of God said is true. And another thing, the man of God said or prophesied that uh, my wife's sister is losing her mind. And that's true again. My wife's sister is losing her mind because we wanted to bring her here, but she didn't uh, uh, allow us to bring her here. So whatever the man of God said is true and I confirm it. How are you feeling right now? No, we are feeling fine and relieved. Amen. What can you say to other people out there? Well, what I can say is that uh, God is able. God is able and I thank God for this day and I thank God for enabling us to come here today. Ma'am, can you please confirm the prophecy that you received today from the man of God? Hello, okay. Uh, the man of God prophesies that I always have a pain on my leg. It's like I've been short or something, which is very true. And then he said that the demons are fighting me so that my husband can leave me, which is also true. Because sometimes we find that I feel that my husband would be angry at me for no reason. And so uh, I feel that everything that the man of God said is true. What about your sister? I even mentioned that my sister is losing her mind, which is very true. The main reason we came here was to bring her along, but then this morning she just refused to come, so we came anyway without her. And by the grace of God, she was located even though she was not here. How are you feeling about that? I am very happy with that, knowing that God can do anything in any way. Today God has remembered you and your family. What are the words of encouragement that you can give the viewers out there? I can all tell all the viewers at home that if you need help, come. The men of God will help you. And God is truly using the men of God to help us now and in this generation. We give glory to Jesus for your life. I believe that you are coming back with a testimony. I believe. Amen.